Sorry, first time being kidnapped, kind of nervous. So, like, why did you pick me? Do you think I'm cute? I'm gonna kill you. Okay, daddy vibes, we love a bad boy king, and I wanna die. Uh. There's something wrong with your generation. Freeze! Police! You're safe now, ma'am. Okay, ew, police is not that deep. Chill. And did you just assume my gender? Because that's offensive. But I'm here to say- That's offensive. But you were- That's offensive. I swear to God, guys, every time there seems to be a murder documentary, the Jeffrey Dahmer stuff, I swear to God, these videos do their, like, absolute run on TikTok. Or all these Gen Z kids pretending to be kidnapped. Not exactly the cutest thing ever. Kind of a, a little bit backward, if you ask me. But I feel like that's definitely the theme of today's video. A little bit backward. Now, guys, I have feel like in today's video i'm probably going to be coming pretty close dying from secondhand embarrassment i mean can you blame me when there's clips like this hi my name is jasper i use they pronouns hi my name is liana i use they demon pronouns and you wonder why this stuff gets a bad rep. I think, like the majority of people, no one particularly cares that much. If you have a preference, fair enough, I'll respect that. But when you start saying, I go by demon, uh, <laughs> we have a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue here. What do you mean you go by demon, bro? What, what does that mean? Guys, honestly, I go by demon. It's just like, you know, I just... So cool and quirky. I'm not like other girls. I go as demon. Just how to use our pronouns. So Liana uses they, them pronouns and demon pronouns. So the first sentence would be, Liana is my partner. They are cute and I am theirs. I love them very much and I hope they love themselves too. For the demon pronouns, it would be, Liana is my partner. Deem is cute, and I belong to Deem. What do they expect is going to happen with these types of videos? Do they think people are sat there like, let me, let me just write this down. One second. Like, bro, it's only you that really cares about this. And you know the worst part is? Is if I didn't call her a demon and I went, oh, speak to that person over there. Man, they would get riled up pretty at mad. Like, I'm just supposed to magically assume through my psychic abilities be able to know this stuff. No, Blaze, you're actually supposed to ask. Bro. Oh, yeah, but before before I talk to you, what pronouns do you go by? Bro, people look at you so weird. I don't know, if I get it wrong and they correct me, oh, I prefer if you didn't call me this and you call me that. Yeah, sure, I'll respect that. But I'm not gonna fucking assume you go by demon pronouns before I even said anything to you. Ableist. Demon very much, and I hope Dean loves demon self too. Yeah, that dies, dies, that's pretty, pretty accurate. Dies from cringe. To the people who stare at us at the mall. <coughs> I'm sorry, bro. If you're doing this cringy ass stuff in the mall and you're mad that people are watching you, you need a reality check. With a bright red hair, dressed up in all leather, dancing like this, and, and you wonder why you get looks. I swear to God, these types of people are the worst for this kind of stuff. Like, they go out of their way to dress up as loud as possible, which is fine, fair enough. Like, dress how you want. I don't think anyone has an issue with that. But then, like, bro, they get confused when people stare at them. They get like, they don't understand. They're like, bro, I don't, I don't get it. Yo, if you're 03, 04, or 05, and you look much older than you actually are. What the fuck? Bro, I swear to God, man. I, I look at half these TikToks as well from my, and I, I know Gen Z are young people. I know. But it's just so weird to me to know that, like, half these people are literally born in 2000. I don't know why. That, that seems like a few years ago. Like, if you were born in the year 2000, I expect you to be the age of, like, 9 or nine or 8. No older. Like, it's just physically impossible for you to be older. But, like, bro, holy shit. That was, like, 22 years ago oh no bro i'm getting old but for real how come these people look older than they look older than me they look like they're in their like 30s like they're paying off a mortgage or something how hi i'm bunny hey uh i'm z what's up uh, um hi i'm uh, all, 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 oliver remix guys you know by this point we can't be watching a gen z cringe video without some fake disorder i didn't type this up this is what i found i generally found anytime you find this stuff regardless it's impossible not to find it it is like the peak cringeness of gen z people is to be finding those fake disorder cringe videos i swear to god i just love how they just jump from one to another and they give themselves almost like mental illnesses oliver has a stutter none of them else have one but oliver has a stutter and then the other ones have a wheelchair and i need that wheelchair because i asked for it for christmas what spongebob square pants over here bro that's a real altar that's not it's not a cosplay guys i don't know how many times i have to repeat this 
face. It's not a cosplay. It's a real person. I own a SpongeBob sometimes because I had a really tough childhood. My mum didn't buy me enough V-Bucks. I had it so bad. Those African kids, pff, man, I don't know why they're so moaning all the time. They're fine. I, on the other hand, had a very tough childhood and bad upbringing. Mummy didn't get my V-Bucks. Didn't have it easy. For me, I really like Eddie. What do you like about Eddie? It's Eddie! <laughs> a big goofball! He He's a hero! He's a hero! I can't imagine a more beautiful thing! It's Eddie! <laughs> you didn't have to upload that, by the way. I feel like two things are actually inevitable when it comes to cringe that you're gonna find on TikTok, especially from the younger generation. Fake disorder stuff. And for some reason, Stranger Things. I swear to God, those two things are just the- You gotta find them. You gotta run into them. It's okay though, because I've prepared myself for these scenarios. But like, you kind of have to. I feel like this is generally enough cringe to kill at least 12 fully grown men that we've watched so far. If you're still watching, give yourselves a pat on the back, because that is- that is, That's not easy to be watching this. Basically giving myself brain damage willingly. You know how when you watch TikToks and it says in the bottom thing, these actions in this video are dangerous? I feel like I need one of those right now when we watch these compilations because it's not safe. Avatar 2 not looking very good, guys. I don't know about this one, guys. Something's a little bit off here. Avatar 2 don't look so good anymore. Imagine if they just dropped. This was the trailer for Avatar 2. They don't, they don't, don't say anything. It's been like, what, 15, 10 years? They just dropped. This is the trailer. I can't wait. It's gonna be sick. You know how there's like steps to uploading these TikTok videos? Like, you know, it's not like they just fall into place and, and you just miraculously just, I guess, uploaded. Like, without any of your control, it just happens. Yeah, it, it doesn't work like that. There are steps to it. They have to record it, they have to edit it, they have to add the music, and they have to plan it even before that. So there's quite a few steps. At any point of the one of those steps, they could have said, you know, I just know. Well, doesn't need to see this. Uh, probably not a good idea. Probably gonna leave it on the back burner. They should be saying. But they have the audacity to actually click public and upload. Boys, we're living in a strange time. I don't really know what else to say apart from that. Like, it's, it's not even like it looks cool. I thought like TikTok would be filled with, you know, when you're watching like Britain's Got Talent and you see all those sort of like dance people like was it diversity or something some cool stuff like that that would slap said we get this and i hate myself i feel like when this is all said and done and we move up away from this content i feel like up on my bucket list right now is deleting tiktok kind of has to be right Actually, when you think about it, this one has a bit of a deeper meaning to it. You can't be watching these videos at face value. It has much deeper meaning. <laughs> Guys, please make it stop. Make it stop now. I have magically hit the peak limit of what I can personally take. I, I feel like, I don't know if you can necessarily die from secondhand embarrassment, but these are like images and videos that shouldn't be on the internet. And now they have found themselves onto my channel. All I can really say is, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to cut the video here. <laughs> like this one. What a magical place. I feel like sitting down and watching these videos with you guys. It's really a team building experience. Think of this as building up an immunity. I don't necessarily know what for, but hey, who knows? When COVID-2 comes around, you'll be immune. You'll just be immune to anything at this point. If you survive this video, nothing can hurt you anymore. You are well prepared for anything that life throws at you. So I guess you're welcome for that. Anyway, boys and girls, I would say if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. You probably didn't, but hit it anyway. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.